Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled cards, laid them out. We can begin. Today, we have quite an interesting set of cards. There are many ways in which you can interpret these cards, so I'm going to be looking at it from different angles. So get ready. The first card that I'm looking at is talking about your heart. It's talking about your emotion. It's very much centered around what you experienced and felt towards the individual that you are dealing with. It could be a reminder of a time that has passed. It could be a sensation of recalling those moments when you felt a deep love for the individual you're dealing with. There is this element of the past coming up, especially from this particular card. We'll be looking at all these energies in detail in a moment. Now, what I find so interesting is that these energies here are capturing a moment in time and it might be something that spirit is calling your attention on because there's a very big contrast between your energy and the energy of the individual you're dealing with, right? Your energy is centered in the soul connection. It's centered in love, affection, kindness, the purity of your heart, what you bring to a situation. And in the past, you may have fallen deeply in love with this individual that you were dealing with. There's a difference in terms of what you experienced and what this individual experienced. What this individual experienced was absolute victory, okay? Now, there's a reason why they were going through these sort of emotions of feeling as if they succeeded at some big endeavor in their life. They may have met you and felt as if you were everything they were looking for. There's certain qualities that you have. There's a certain way you look. There's a certain way you carry yourself, your achievements. Everything, everything that you brought to the table made this individual feel as if they've won the lottery. So I feel like you brought the whole package and then some. So what I'm sensing from these cards is that this individual you're dealing with went through a very different experience to what you had experienced in the past. It feels as if you were offering your heart, you were delighting in the experience of finding someone to love, and this individual was relishing in the egotistical part of it. Things such as, I can't believe I've got someone like this. I can't believe I've, you know, won somebody like this. So it feels like, you know, they were very focused on the objective not really on the experience and on the affection. That's where your heart was coming from, a genuine sincerity to love and be loved, whereas this individual was very focused on the objective. I've got to win this individual. I've got to be number one. I've got to make sure that I get this individual. You know, it's that sort of energy. It's all about what they're going to achieve, the objective at hand. It's not about the experience of loving you. It's like acquiring a trophy and then keeping it on that uh, sort of pedestal and not really paying attention to it. That's what I'm getting. It's a very interesting set of energies today. So I feel like I'm going to have to clarify these cards, of course, to know more. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. all about celebration for this individual and it feels as if there's a lot of reflection about this sort of energy coming up especially from this individual they were thinking about the future they were thinking about protecting what they believe to belong to them territorial energy this is mind i claim this it's that sort of energy and you were going into it ready to love and be loved as I mentioned earlier. So I feel like 
The prospect of the future was there before this individual, and it was something so enticing, so delightful, but like a trophy placed on, you know, a pedestal, it wasn't something that they truly understood in terms of value and uh, taking care of the responsibility of it. So in regard to their relationship to you, it feels as if you were a conquest. It feels as if they did want you for the future, but it also feels like they neglected certain elements, you know, when it comes to your heart, when it comes to your mind, when it comes to your soul. I'm seeing this individual's energy very scattered right now, all over the place, running here, running there, trying to figure out a way going forward. And the thing about this individual's energy is the more they try to do, the more things stand still. So it's like they're running around in circles. It's very difficult, you know, because they feel like they thought they were going to come out at the finish line as the winner. But they never really paid attention to your heart and soul. I feel like they weren't listening to the subtle messages, those little things that you might have been saying that are upsetting you. That I'm, you know, bringing you sadness. I feel like this individual didn't pay attention to those elements, you know. They felt as if they had you figured out. But I feel like you are a lot deeper than they've ever anticipated. The next card is showing this energy of stagnancy. Things moving so slowly. And someone being in denial. So I feel like during the course of the relationship, this individual wasn't you know, looking at the situation from the perspective of what was truly troubling you, what was bothering you, what was upsetting you. They just didn't want to have a look at it. They didn't want to face it. It's like getting, you know, a new car, for example, and you know there's an oil leak or you know there's a problem there, but you just don't want to take it to the garage. It feels like that sort of energy. It feels like you were an acquisition, you were a possession, but you weren't really taken care of. That's why you're at this position right now. Now, what I'm also getting at is that you did come into this with a genuine intention of loving this individual. You did go into this with the purity of your heart, your desire to uh, be in a harmonious union. But this individual came in thinking that uh, you were something to be acquired, something to be owned. So I feel like they're trying to take their time right now, trying to be strong. It's not easy. Let's look at the next energy. Something concerning the past, very, very stressful. It feels like there's emotional blockages. Someone feels very disappointed with what has happened. It feels like this energy of you offering your love, offering your heart, and this individual not acknowledging it. It's uh, like they were saying, emotion aside, let's focus on the objective at hand. And they were very focused on that finish line, but they weren't thinking about your emotions and feelings. They just wanted what they wanted on their own terms and they were completely oblivious to your needs and to what you were going through. So I feel like you were going in with the intention of love. Perhaps you want a commitment on a certain level, but it feels as if there wasn't much action taken in that regard. For those of you that were in a relationship with this person, you know, it may have been that you wanted something to be official or you wanted something to be proper in terms of the connection. You didn't just want to waste your time loving someone and not having a genuine stable connection. So I feel like there's this element of deception. There's this element of underhanded behavior in the past. And I feel like your energy areas, you really came out on the top. And there's something about you, you know, either succeeding in your life, your career, whatever it is, you are having some sort of achievement or moving towards a much stronger, grounded energy where you're holding your own and you're taking care of your needs. So you've moved from that period of deception, you know, that's in the past. But this individual, you know, there's an energy here that is uh, still a little bit wounded. Yeah. I 
feel like many of you walked away from this individual, walked away from the past. And very interesting that spirit would bring up these energies again to bring something new to light, something that you never saw before. So I feel like this individual is watching you walk away. Let's have a look at the next energy. I'm getting the impression here from this particular card that if you're a female, this individual may have wanted to show you off or wanted to say, look what I have. You know, it was like you were this rare sort of individual that they've come across and they felt as if they were some sort of king finding a queen that was, you know, um, something that other people can't have. It feels like that sort of energy. So it's a, a bit of a gloating attitude as well, right? Because you were the great prize here. But I feel like, you know, your intention, your heart, it wasn't like that. It was you looking for a genuine connection with an individual. And this individual coming in with a very different objectives, you know. So let's see. Yeah, I'm seeing that for many of you, you know, there's something that was missing in this connection. Perhaps you felt as if you couldn't have the freedom to love this individual in the way you wanted to love them, or perhaps you felt as if there was a lot of things that were being said, but not a lot of action that was being taken. I do feel like you had a genuine care for this person, but I'm also seeing that you've, uh, you know, gotten onto your horse and you're riding into the sunset. You're leaving the situation. And uh, I'm sensing this wasn't an easy decision for some of you to do. And this individual, you know, there's a lot of pride in their energy. There's a lot of um, this sort of uh, desire to be number one. And I feel like in, in the crossfire, you know, but you and this individual were having power struggles. And uh, they didn't realize how sensitive you are. I don't feel like this individual actually uh, understood who you are as a person. They may have seen you as someone that's highly accomplished or someone that has uh, done a lot in your life, you know, but they might not have seen how soft your heart really is. So what I'm seeing here is that when it comes to this connection, you were looking for something serious. You were looking for something genuine. And there's certain things that happened in the past that have... Uh, left this energy between you and this individual very stuck during this period of time. This person you're dealing with, I feel like they've gotten a few bumps on their head as a result of, you know, uh, what happened between the two of you. It feels as if they are a little bit uh, wounded from what has happened. Let's see. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. And if you'd like to win a free tarot card reading with me, you should check out the community section of this channel, the Tarot Empress channel. So let's see. Yeah, I feel like something really, you know, knocked them down to a very large extent. It's uh, like the attitude of going from a winner to feeling like, what the hell just happened? It feels like that. So this person you're dealing with is feeling very stuck right now. And they feel as if they don't know how to move forward. They feel like their hands are tied. And uh, what I'm sensing here is that they don't know how to communicate to you. So it feels as if they might do something that... Uh, might be a little suspicious. They could do something behind your back, try to reach out to you via a fake profile, things of that nature, potentially. But the energy right now is very stagnant, very stagnant, not really moving. I'm still getting this attitude from this individual that they feel like they're right. Yeah, 
Stagnant energy is driving this individual up the wall. Can't handle it. They feel a little bit defeated. Yeah, I see your energy at a point in which you're very focused on your own objectives right now, whether it's your career, your life, etc. And I feel like you're trying to take some time to collect your thoughts, right? But there could be some unexpected things that could happen in the course of the situation. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at what is this individual going to be doing next? I'm going to be exploring their feelings and the emotions, what are they really thinking, and how is the situation going to be moving forward. You can find the link in the description box below. I'll also be providing a strategy as well as solutions. Have a wonderful day and take care.